What's up guys, it's me again, Mr. Joshua with a Gundam MSI review, and today we are reviewing my uh, 2003 C3 limited version RX-78, second version. And uh, I bought him off eBay last year for about $10 with shipping and handling, and he's pretty much complete. I've never seen an RX-78 like this before. I know they came out with different uh, colors and stuff. And uh, I've never seen a white and red one before in silver. And I found one on eBay on a bid. So I kind of dicked around. I was like, oh, just, uh, I'll, I'll put a bid on here and see what happens. And so uh, I obviously won the bid. Bought him from Japan. And he's pretty cool looking. He's been opened once. Uh, I, I, I had to open it because I wanted to see, you know, what it meant by version 2. At the time, I didn't, know, I didn't know the difference between a version 1 and a version 2. Now, version 2 means, like, he's got better mobility in his arms and legs, you know, double-jointed, versus a, uh, a version 1. You can totally compare the joints in there. And with this dude right here, he can actually touch his face. And this guy, he can't really do much of anything. Still a pretty cool figure, though. But anyways, yeah. Bought him last year on a bid. Pretty cheap. And uh, last year, I guess, was my really you know, lucky time for buying Gundams. Because like all these Gundams I bought you know, from Japan and stuff were fairly cheap. And this year, they're getting pretty expensive. But, uh, yeah, he comes with the, uh, the ball and chain thing. I think it's called the hammer or some shit like that. I don't know. Comes with his silver beam gun, alternate hands, big giant bazooka. Yeah, that's about it. Well, and then his little jetpack. Yeah, like I said before, I opened him up. I just wanted to see. But, um... Yeah, right here it shows what kind of mobility he has. Pretty cool stuff. And yeah, he's part of my collection that I'm keeping. Now eventually I, I might sell this figure. I'm not really sure yet, but... You know, he's a pretty cool figure to have. You know, last year I went through an RX-78 phase where I wanted to collect as many different variants as possible. And so far I have like maybe four or five... But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool part of my collection. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen a white RX-78 before. And so I had to have him. I don't think he's, there's anything else different different between him and the other RX-78. Well, if you compare him with uh, the version 1, there's going to be you know, a lot of differences. Like, everything, basically. The only thing I really like about the RX-78 version 2 is that they're kind of, you know, more boxier in the chest, you know. If you compare him to, like, a version 1.5, version 1.5s are more slender, I want to say. Here, I'll use this little dude as an example. You can, you can tell the difference. He's more boxier, and he's more of a... It kind of slimmed down a little bit. But other than that, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool figure. Anyways, you know, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more Gundam MSA reviews. Thanks.